Hey guys, gonna do a review on this ATV chainsaw uh, mount that my dad has installed on his Polaris Sportsman. It is a, I was asked to do a review on it and I, my dad and I wanted to do one on it anyways, so figured, why not? It's a Colpin, I believe it's, we're kinda trying to figure out how it's pronounced, but it's K-O-L-P-I-N. Um, it seems to work really well. The way it mounts is it just squishes these brackets in on the bar. It's got a little wing knight uh, bolt that you loosen and slide it over. It's mounted with uh, a couple of U-bolts underneath. Um, this is actually metal. It's to the, mounted to the rack. The rest of the rack is plastic, but it, what it's mounted on is actually metal, so it's real secure. I haven't noticed anything. With it bouncing around, you can drive pretty normal. It doesn't seem to wiggle or anything. Um, there was some modifications that were required. I don't know if my dad, you wanna say exactly what you did here. As you can see, well the bracket actually came stock about this long. Yeah, get on the other side. The rack stock was that long, it had multiple holes in it, and I just cut down to the last set of holes. Could have did a little more trim work here. And so it wouldn't it, fit, it wouldn't come, you know, it couldn't, you couldn't mount it flat level because it would hit this, the rack. And I suppose you could have used a bracket, but it would have stood way out here. If you, you know, if you would have left it alone, I wanted to fit as tight to here so there's less, you know, the weight on there would have been less on fulcrum. So, so yeah, he, he kind of mentioned before that possibly taking this off and finishing this up and maybe painting it because that's potential, you know, well not potentially, it will rust, it's kind of rusting already. We could always take it off. Uh, but we, I guess they think he threw it on there thinking we'll see how it works, but. Right. I think it's universal. We have two 14 inches, there's a Ryobi. Uh, we'll throw that his on there in a second just to show you how easy it is to take it off and put it back on. But so far, it's I think it's worked out really well. Um, there is these foam pads in there um, in between here and also here where the chainsaw actually sits. And they kind of do take some abuse. I, I guess if you've used it for a long time, maybe those are the only thing that really wear out. Maybe you replace, I guess, or if you care or not. But... All right, why don't you throw the other one on and you can show you how quickly it takes it off. Unspin the wing nut, open it up, pull it out. See, and it's kind of getting beat up already. But, set it on there. Just make sure it's tight so it doesn't wiggle around. And that's it. So, you can take them in and out pretty quick. Um, so far it's been really useful. Uh, it, one thing I always forget to do is if you take the chainsaw, you know, always remember to close this back because then you'll be driving and all of a sudden you'll hear, hear it banging against stuff if you forget to close this back. I've done that a few times, but, but that's it. Have any questions, let me know. Um, if we can find where he bought it from, I'll try to link it in the description. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching.